you doing, Fran? I'm doing slow mo of the ballerinas on the water. The what? People call them ballerinas because if you look at each little raindrop, it looks like a ballerina with her skirt hanging out. You've got to look carefully at them. Uh. It's the first time we've been on the boat in big rain. What are you doing, Fran? I'm putting my VIP ticket on. We are at Crick. Ta-da! I haven't done any of these for so long and I don't know how they work. What? Pulling a sticker off? No, it's got to go onto that one, is not it? Look, does oh, that just know. stick on? Yeah. Kind of hand. Oh. You're a very important, <laughs> should be VIB, shouldn't it? Very important boater. And I'm an, actually, I'm an adult as well. No, 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 no. Lots to eat and drink. We're going to head to the Indian Razoi bar, I think that's how you pronounce it, street food. We'll do a vegetarian pakora chat, seven quid, yum yum. And later on, <laughs> we will be heading in there. For a pint of Wi-Fi? For a pint of, no not for a pint of Wi-Fi, for a pint of beer. This is Edstone Aqueduct going over a small road and a railway track. Beautiful bit of architecture. And we've just been through the only lock of the day for us up there. We're on our way to Wilmcote, which is only a few miles outside Stratford-on-Avon. Um, it's where Shakespeare's mum lived. Although the Mary Arden House they thought was Shakespeare's mum's house isn't actually right because uh, apparently they've since found out that it was built five years after she died and is a, was a farm or some, some such building. Uh, apparently she lived 30 yards down the road so all those poor unfortunate uh, tourists over the last 50 odd years who've come to Stratford-on-Avon to see Shakespeare and his Mum's house. I've been uh, told a lie, but uh, not deliberate, I'm sure. Anyway, here she comes. Oops. One crunch. Oh, that's why she's crunching. She's filming me, filming her. Oh, here we go. It's ping pong canal boating, folks.
obviously not the real place anyway, but what a fantastic building. Lovely little herb garden in the front. Really beautiful. Hi there. Hello. So uh, we've done Stratford on Avon. We've been down there, spent a day in the basin, 24 hours. Yeah, basin, very nice, very walk, busy. Walk around. Um, now we've turned around in the basin and we're heading back up the Stratford Canal. We could have gone down the river to Tewkesbury, then the Avon to Tewkesbury and then up to Worcester and up to the up the Worcester and Birmingham Canal again, but we've already done that part of the canal, so we want to get to Oxford, so that's where we're heading now. This was just a little detour, just to say we'd been to Stratford. It's just, it's taken us not quite a week, has it? I think we arrived on Monday yeah. for the boat show, no, not quite a week. Um, I'm glad we did it. Being in Stratford Basin was lovely, but um, it's shops again and stuff, isn't it? So it's not us but we had some nice people got talking to some nice people again um, uh, we're bumping into some fabulous people um, boaters and non-boaters we've just had a, a lengthy chat on the towpath with a, a couple from tasmania who live in tasmania but spend their winters over here so i don't know why they're still here but anyway uh, oh, winters are lovely though we've often yeah. said haven't we that you'd miss I couldn't yeah, be anywhere hot all year round. It's but nearly summer. It's summer now. It's June the 2nd. Most people, we've met quite a few people that have boats that are retired but tend to go off to Spain in the winter or to their hot holiday homes in the winter and come back to their boats in the summer. But yeah. Well, this is absolutely idyllic spot. Uh, we've just had a bit of lunch and this is the Edston Aqueduct that we filmed going that way and we've come back over it and it's just wonderful spot. We've had a couple of adventures on our journey, especially going down towards Stratford. A uh, lot of the lock gates are really difficult to um, open fully. Uh, we had our first experience of being jammed in a lock. Richard gone on to the next lock to open it or prepare it ready for me, left me with a volunteer and unfortunately we foolishly forgotten to lift all our fenders and I got jammed in and the volunteer was really good but he wasn't quite sure what to do so ended up I'm not that confident climbing about on the boat but I ended up having to climb up on the roof and pull the boat back and refloat it you then got panicky didn't know what had yeah, happened I, what was going on. I couldn't see the lock <laughs> it just ran the bend about a quarter of a mile away so I came walking back couldn't see anybody on the lock I thought oh my god what's going on and there you were all just about coming out again. You, uh, all, all was fine, but it's all okay. But, but then again, you know. a few locks further down, we couldn't open the gate fully. It was something wedged down below, and there was that much gap, wasn't there, for it to, yeah. to go. So we ended up having a team of people pushing the gate, rocking the gate, so we could get through. And we did have the fenders up at that point. Yeah. So. So a lot of these locks on this canal, the gearing's really hard and uh, really tough. gates are wobbly. I think it's, it needs some attention, especially on the southern section of the Stratford Canal. So uh, There have been lots of, uh, because it's half term week, there's been lots of holiday boats out, yeah. and families and day boats, particularly along here. And it's really, really nice to see people just having fun on the water. They, you know, okay. <laughs> They're not brilliant at handling the boats a lot of the time, but it's just so nice to people see people enjoy themselves, and you know, so they end up going in the in the bushes and yeah, they just did one you know. passing us went into the well, it just went at right angles <laughs> into the bank. I don't know why uh, how he managed to do it, but for a hundred quid you can get a boat out for the day, and you can get six to eight people on there. So as for a family, it's great fun, especially if it's dry and. New experience for the kids, isn't it? I we, think. we were actually accused when we came into Moor last night. I won't say who was driving the boat. We had a little bit of a hiccup and ended up going in the trees. Somebody that we'd met previously actually said, oh, you're worse than the hire boaters. <laughs> Heard you coming from a quarter of a mile away. I actually 
<laughs> hit some bloke's boat, didn't I? Because I was trying to get around this tree, but <laughs> I'd taken my eye off the ball for a few seconds daydreaming. We had done 17 locks that day. It we was, were tired. We were knackered, and it was about <laughs> eight o'clock, half past eight, I think it was, by the time we moored up. Yeah. But uh, it's okay. I didn't hit him that hard, and he was all right about it. He was fine. He gave us a wave. He had a lovely boat as well. I like that boat, yeah. Well, people keep telling us it's a contact sport, so... <laughs> Just smile and apologise and... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a real bee in our bonnet about litter. Oh. Just got a clip I've just taken after we've had lunch and I'll show you. It just it beggars belief that people will just leave tins, cans rather, bottles, wrappers, and instead of taking it home with them, you know, they... they I just unbelievable. It doesn't take a lot to carry empty bottles, does it? And put them in a bin when no. you get to one, or just take it home. We have been. A, we have been. It has been suggested that our nice. vlog is becoming. <laughs> sorry, that was the dog coughing, yeah. not me. <laughs> um, it has been suggested that our vlog. We've got to be careful because our, is our vlog a eco warrior vlog or a canal boat vlog? But that's part of our life. Uh, that's important to us and you see it more so when you've chosen to live in such a beautiful environment as the canal and you see it just being littered and ruined we've actually made a decision this weekend and it's not good enough but we're going to have a completely plastic free weekend we're not going to buy anything in plastic and already that's difficult even for us yeah, I very careful I couldn't have a cake well I could have made one but I think the sugar came in a plastic bag so so we're leaving Wilmco, heading down to Stratford Basin. We've got 17 locks today. So hopefully we'll have them done by lunchtime so we can have a walk around Stratford on Avon. Fran's in a mind to buy some books. Yeah, I'll have book vouchers to use up. And what better place to spend your book voucher than Stratford Basin? Well, you're going to get some plays by the Bard. Oh, it's too clever for me, I can't do that. Heading down the locks into Stratford. Um, we're just getting a little glimpse of Stratford in the background there. There's a bit of a factory building to look at. Um, there's a volunteer popping up and down helping people out today. Unfortunately, he crept up behind us just as Rich, for the first time ever, forgot to close one of the paddles on the gate behind me. We could hear this shouting and yelling. <laughs> a bit unfortunate, really, but I guess it was a good thing that he was there. I might have been taking a long, long while to get down this lot. But, uh, there we are. Plants are looking good on the roof. Growing nicely. I've been a bit worried on one or two of the bridges. Those tomatoes get much bigger. I'm going to have to be moving them. Um, yeah, looking forward to better views of Stratford. Busy, busy all of a sudden. <laughs> you go through that bridge and it's just gone from peace and quiet to people. Madness. That'd be quite a nice change for a couple of days to have a bit of busyness around us. No doubt we'll be ready to get back to peace and quiet on the weekend. Where to more? What do you reckon, Rich? It's a reverse in job. Oh, is it? It's your turn then. Millions of gongoozlers everywhere. Your turn then. A bit different to last time we came here. We came here the weekend we bought the boat from Benjamin and everything was iced in and frozen solid. Nothing was moving anywhere, so this is a bit of a change. actually started collecting um, some bits of plastic and stuff from the canal or litter and I'm going to weave it into a, 
some sort of memorial, save our canals. Is it going to be a post, postmodern <laughs> abstract piece of weaving? It's going to be like a Tracy Emin piece of work. I'm going to make millions. But, you know, and of course donate it all to Friends of the Earth. Yeah. But yeah, Watch I don't know, space. just, there's so much stuff. But let's not go on about it too much. It's part of our life and no, that's what we're going to do. don't be preachy about our lifestyle, but, um, oh, I don't know. Plastic schmastic. <laughs> So, there's nobody behind us, nobody ahead of us, there's a Premier Inn, what has got a bar. So, how better than to waste time in a full lock and sip a gin and tonic and let the dogs have a run around. Chin chin, old girl. It is Friday afternoon. I'm on the giggly grigio. Cheers. Yeah, so we've had a, a little gin and tonic and a white wine here at uh, Premier Inn, Inn Stratford-upon-Avon and uh, we're a bit disappointed that they don't have a, what did you call it? A float-through float <laughs> rather than a drive-through for McDonald's. Missing an opportunity there, methinks. Well, I don't think they're going to be impressed behind us because we leave the lock and the gates want to close, open again by themselves so they're having to come up and close the gate we've just left before they can empty the lock. So, uh, hope they don't think we're narrow boating newbies, baby, and... Uh, no, I think they realise. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free side hatch was this stone painted 
says I love art. On the reverse side says Evangelina, I think, Regione or Rejone, May 18. So, obviously uh, somebody likes to be a little bit cryptic with their art. It was quite a nice gesture. We've just had lunch in this lovely spot on this bench and look down here. Can you believe people actually do this? They bring their full bottles and packets etc and then drink them, eat them and then just throw it down here. It is just unbelievable that people will do this. So I've grabbed as much as I can, picked it up. Uh, the rest of it's just out of reach. It's too steep a bank for me to crawl down and pick the rest of it up. But I think this packet here gives you some indication of the types of idiots that uh, frequent this lovely spot and do this sort of thing. Uh. Um. We're really beginning to get um, more wanting to start doing work on the boat now. It's been a bit slow. We haven't started getting a lot of the stuff done that we wanted to. Um, we've still got to get the engine room finished, haven't we? Yeah. Washing machine's going okay. I'm, um, yeah, getting that down to a fine art now. And we picked yesterday, picked our first salad leaves from the, the top boat. of the boat, yeah. um, which was very nice. So next project, we've bought a little sink for the bathroom, so that'll be interesting for us because we don't do any plumbing or anything, do we? But we're going to. We'll get through it. We're so, going to uh, go home for a few days, well, back to the house for a few days, and uh, going to pop in at a DIY Superstore in Kidderminster and see if we can get some flooring for the boat and some tongue yeah. and groove for the walls Yeah. Uh, and other bargains that we can find because we don't like paying full price. Oh, here comes my lovely oh, doggy look. friend again. Hello, you. you've been swimming, haven't you? Mind your tripod, hun. Okay, see you soon. Take Cheers. Care. See you then. Cheers. Bye. Brief interlude. <laughs> Where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, going back to the cottage. Yeah, so we're going to get uh, pick up some bits and start actually working on the boat and fitting it out and getting it a bit more comfortable. Having gone on the boat the other day, um, Goo. Gur, <laughs> Fiona and David. David, yeah, of course. Um, just made us feel how Spartan our boat is when it comes to little luxuries, etc. But uh, we're not complaining. Happy with it, aren't we? Our curtains are now up, aren't they? Your well, a curtain. a curtain up. Yeah, well done. <laughs> so. We keep bumping into this lovely couple, Fiona and Dave, on their boat, Gur which apparently is a name of a hawk bird. Uh, simply fantastic boat. Uh, Fran's in there at the moment, drooling over the engine and the boatsman's cabin at the back. And uh, it's just wonderful boat. Absolutely gorgeous. And they've got it fitted out inside to a T. So it's uh, plenty for us to uh, take inspiration from. But yeah, a lovely couple, lovely boat. What did you think, Fran? Oh, it's unbelievable, just, isn't it? It's just like unbelievable. Up on your private space, isn't it? Hello, Fiona. Hello, Her boat is just amazing. What's what, the best what? bit? The engine. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny brass engine. And the, the boatsman's, boatsman's cabin. cabin. Yeah, yeah that's so where you'd be, isn't it? To go on, so. Yeah, it's a credit to you. Really love it. So that's about us, there's not much been going on this week, we've just been pootling along on the boat, uh, enjoying the weather which has been reasonably dry, we had one day of rain so we stayed put, um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's all good. See you later! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>